Let's show you what the problem is first. So we were fortunate enough to get this other side off and if, you, if we zoom in here I'll get a good shot of this for you. You can see where someone has used a, a regular wrench at one time and started to roll the edge off. I mean these flared fittings can be on here pretty good because they're a compression style fitting. So that flare is bottoming out against the opposing flare on the other side and it creates a really good tight uh, fuel or liquid connection there. So we want to come and approach this and say, well, what are our choices? Hey, what are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Well, heat is a choice like a propane map gas or something to try and get that hot and get that to separate up. That'd be a great option too. I'm usually a big fan of trying to go to standard tools first. So I, I don't want to use a regular open end wrench. You have what's called a flare wrench where it's got these extra edges on there and it slips across the line and then gives you a, uh, a really good fitting. Okay, So our problem here is, is that uh, since we're off the car and this isn't bolted in a thing, it's, it's kind of being a bugger one-handed. I mean, I could try and mount this to something. There's not a really good place to grab it in the vise. I've only got one kind of small ear right here. And the problem with that is if I get kind of aggressive, I could end up breaking that ear off and making it just a hot mess too. So that's where I'm going to get in here and show you the trick today. As far as uh, I'm going to use a crow foot with that flared end on there so that I can actually get around here. Okay, So I've got a lot of meat on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use uh, an impact on a little extension, as you'll see, I'll back the camera up and get that baby apart. Now, there's a couple things you got to think about to make sure that we understand how a flare fitting works again. Let's go back and look at this one. So when these two are assembled here, whenever you're taking a flare fitting apart, you have to make sure and hold the base one and you're removing the flare one, okay? So in this case, like I said, we did get those separated, but we need to make sure and hold this. So going to the example of our kind of save the day tip here, I'm going to go ahead and hold this bottom one. And what I'm going to try to do is see if there's any way I can do this. I want to try and get it where the, the bottom one is being supported and held right on the bench because I'm going to come up here and zap that just real lightly. I'm not going to sit and honk down on it. Remember, I want to try to see if I can save the old parts if all possible. There's no sense in wasting money if I don't need to. So let me back the camera up and let's see if this actually works and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Woohoo, success. All right, nice. You can see our little setup here. That worked really uh, well for getting that stubborn uh, stubborn guy out of here. And now I can definitely keep on with the build. All right, friends, there you have it. There is uh, a couple of you know techniques of how you'd actually get these flared fittings uh, off when they're stuck or being stubborn. Uh, a lot of people use heat, you know, and that does work in some applications. We're completely rebuilding this, so there's anything rubber or plastic really wouldn't affect us. Um, but every, every once in a while, I like to take a look at, you know, options. Like, what's maybe a better way to go? I don't have to deal with it. It's hot, and it's not an issue for me. And that, that little trick of using the impact on a crow's foot, uh, especially a lot of entry-level technicians, you don't know what you don't know until somebody shows you. So that's definitely something that uh, all our videos here at HowToWrench.com uh, do is they, they talk about great ways to do something. If you've got a better way to do this or you've got something that works really well for you and you want to share with the community, put it in the comments below. So I'm going to get back to rebuilding this, uh, the rest of this throttle body. I'm on the road to success now that I got this apart. This was uh, hanging me up from moving forward. So as always, subscribe, like, share, tell your buddy that there's something cool you learned today at HowToWrench.com. Uh, thank you for being part of this community. Make it a great day and keep wrenching.